six media. You you gotta you gotta stop keeping your hat a secret to everybody. <laughs> Greetings everyone, my name is Xmedia and welcome to my trading series. A lot of you people out there, mainly new and experienced traders, sometimes foolishly call someone a scammer when it's simply not true. In this video I would like to explain you a difference between a legit trader and a scammer. First of all, let me just start off and explain you the three most common ways how can you lose profit while trading. Number 1. Get scammed by a scammer. Number 2. Get sharked by an experienced trader. Number 3. By doing a simply bad trade. Alright, so let's get back to the number 1. There are actually many types of scams out there. I'll just name a few and I will assure you that you will most likely get my point there. So for example, trade over scam, Fisherlink scam, PayPal scam, quick switch scam, fake middleman scam, famous person scam. Let's get back to the first one again, trade offer scam. This might have happened to you already, but if not, don't worry, I will show you a screenshot as an example. Mostly, all of the trade offer scams are based on one trick, that the scammer will say in the offer notes that Valve is going to give you money if you accept the trade. Now, believe it or not, uh, there are actually plenty of people who fell for this scam and uh, they lost uh, quite a lot of money. Next on we have a fishling scam. I can't really judge anyone, because I fell for this scam myself back in the times it was a fresh scam technique and I lost a shit ton of money. He will most likely try to convince you that he has a great deal and you have to check the site for whatever the reason is. Try not to click any links you don't know and don't download anything under any circumstances. PayPal scam. In the most common cases the scammer will either try to force you to go first so you will give him your item unusual whatever you have and then he will send you the money. Now don't fall for this, uh, many scammers have their fake reputation and they won't even bother sending you the money. Now the second scenario that could happen is that the scammer will give you the money first and then you will give him the item but then he will request a chargeback from PayPal. Now, in 99% of cases uh, he will get the money back and you will end up uh, with empty pocket on your side. So you really gotta watch out for this. If you really want to sell something for real world money, I would suggest you selling your items to people uh, personally uh, in your country for cash. This is what worked for me and it's the safest way of all. So yeah, definitely if there is something to recommend it's this. Next on we have a quick switch scam. In most cases the scammer will try to act that he has a bad connection and he will try to act like the servers are down. He will offer instantly good offer with some good to your head, but he will cancel the trade many times saying that he didn't cancel it. After like 7 times of him doing this uh, repeatedly, he will replace the god tier hat he's offering with some uh, low tier unusual such as nuts and bolts or bubbling hat. That's why you should always uh, double check what you are trading for before actually accepting it. So yeah, definitely watch out for this. Fake middleman scam. In most cases the scammer will have a plenty of fake reputation and he will try to offer you a middleman service while spike ribbing or something like that. Either you or your opponent or even both of you will end up being scammed because he will simply run with all the items. Now if you really want to spy crap and the middleman is the only option you should always ask the server admin or simply uh, try to request uh, the real steam rep middleman uh, to, to middleman for you. Now he might ask for some fees at the end but they're rather safe than having nothing. In the most common cases the scammer will try to act like he is some famous YouTuber or famous trader or someone famous in community. He will most likely try to convince you that uh, you should give him some items of yours and he will try to scam you. What I would suggest you is make some more research where are you dealing with. Usually famous YouTubers don't add random people so make sure you are talking to the real one. Now the second way of possibly losing profit is by getting sharked by an experienced trader. Now sharking in Team Fortress 2 is uh, a term used to describe an act of more experienced trader convincing you that their item is priced more and now don't get me wrong here many people mess up on this part so everyone can ask whatever they want for their items. This is called a buyout or more commonly used as BO. What it means is basically the amount of some 
the, the amount the seller is willing to accept right at this moment for their item. It's not like uh, the price which is set on backpack.ef, it's literally what he's or she's looking for at this moment. So next time, uh, if you call someone a scammer for overpricing their items, think twice. The next and the last way how to easily lose profit is by doing a simply bad trade. Now don't blame anyone a scammer if you've done a bad trade. When you are doing a trade, you accept the trade, therefore you agree to do it. You should always think twice uh, about the trade before accepting it. Now if I were to give you any advice, I, uh, don't accept the trade unless you are making uh, profit from it. Also there is one more thing I wanted to mention. Items falling in price. If you have bought an item in past and it dropped uh, suddenly uh, in a matter of some time, uh, that's totally your fault. You have to keep in mind that any item can either rise in their price or they can simply uh, fall in their price. It's your own duty to make some research about the item you are looking to buy and you should always check if the item is new to the game and if, it's, uh, if it has the stable price set. However, I'm not going to explain how to check prices uh, of different items right at this moment. I will make another video dedicated to this topic later. This is basically all I wanted to say for now and I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure to leave a comment suggesting what uh, tutorial should I do next. I will gladly make one. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone and sharing this video and subscribing and all that stuff. So yeah, I will see you in the next